Hey what's up guys, OSJ here with probably the most controversial video to date, because today we are going to be looking at 10 games where the Atari ST kicked the Amiga's ass. Yeah yeah, the title was purely for clickbait reasons as there's no real ass kicking going on here, but all 10 of these games actually play better on the Atari ST. Back in the day I knew one lad with an ST, and we Amiga owners used to have his life about it, but since actually getting a 1040 STE a few years back, I see that the system wasn't that bad. I mean yeah, there's no way it's as good as the Amiga gaming wise but definitely not bad enough to be beaten up at school over. Ok so I know that a lot of Amiga owners will be watching thinking oh we're going to see a load of games that were crappy lazy ST ports on the Amiga but no you're not. I've tried to stay clear of them as there are quite a few and I would say that the majority of games on this list are quality games on both systems but to be honest the ST on this occasion just pips the Amiga mostly in the gameplay department. Anyway, without more delay, let's take a look at 10 Atari ST games that kicked the Amiga's ass. Well, not kicked it. Oh well, you know what I mean. First up we are going to look at maybe the most famous better ST game and that's Captain Blood. So yeah technically this is an ST port to the Amiga but in no way is it crappy. The thing with this game is it isn't easy, it's a thinking man's game and one that bamboozled a lot of gamers back in the day as even with the manual it was hard to understand what to do. Give it some time though and you will work it out and it becomes a great game both on the ST and Amiga but the ST takes it for me. Anyway the reason it's better is all round. The sound is better I think, the graphics are crisper and the game play on the 3D parts are a lot smoother. Next up we have Defender of the Crown. So Defender of the Crown was one of the wow games for me on the Amiga when I was younger and I thought it was a bee's knees, but as I found out later the Amiga part was kind of rushed and left some really neat features out, but the Atari ST and the C64 didn't. Obviously looks wise it's plain to see that the Amiga is better, but as far as gameplay and overall game experience goes the Atari takes it. I mean little things like the energy bar when raiding castles and the actual battle scenes were missing out of the Amiga and it always bothered me that just seemed like something was not right and it turns out it wasn't. Kickoff 2 is the next game and this one is a bit more of a weird one as the ST is missing the pitch end and advertising boards but it does have pitch stripes which are missing on the Amiga and then there's the most important part, the speed and gameplay, it flows much better on the Atari, I mean don't get me wrong there's not much in it but it is better on the ST, luckily for Amiga owners though we weren't too bothered about Kickoff 2 because we got sensible soccer. Next up is Wings of Death. So when I first looked into this video a few years ago, Wings of Death was always banded around in the forums, and it's a game that I had never played before back then. I think that's down to the fact that although it's a good game on the Amiga, it doesn't outdo the likes of Battle Squadron, Banshee etc, for top down shooter action. But when you compare the two versions, the ST wins in all departments, the gameplay is smoother, the music is better, and the overall game is of a higher standard on the Atari ST. Energy. Auto fire. Up now we have no second prize, so as we go through this list you will hear that when it comes to 3D games the ST just did it that little bit better and in no second prize this is certainly the case. This game is not as well known as some of the races on the Amiga but it's an awesome game, but there was always something a little jerky on the Amiga, like it was running in low frames or something, well the ST gets it just right with silky smooth action which in turn makes the game easy to control and let me tell you, this isn't an easy game to control so that little bit extra feel goes a long way.
Robocop 3 is next, and again this is a quality game on the Amiga, with super realistic driving scenes, well, for the time anyway, and great 3D first person shooter sections, and up until playing the ST version I never had a problem with it, but like all the games on this list it just plays that little bit better on the ST. Again this is mostly down to how the ST handles the 3D elements of the game, but it's quite close, and really if you never played the ST you would still be more than happy with what Ocean produced here for the Amiga. Following on from Wings of Death we have Lethal Excess, which is Wings of Death 2. More of the same great shoot em up action here, and as with the first game the ST outdid the Amiga, with super smooth gameplay and a kick ass soundtrack. I really have nothing else to add here, as I've said it all in the Wings of Death description, but yeah, again I have to admit that the ST version is better. Next up we have RVF Honda, let me start by saying that I was never a fan of this game on the Amiga, it's all a bit too fiddly and out of control for my liking, but I actually got to play the Atari version a while back when I linked my Amiga to my ST to test out the link play, and the ST handles it much better. In fact I have played quite a bit on the ST version since, and it's not only me that thinks it's better on the ST, when me and my 11 year old son are playing it over no modem, he always picks the ST too, and there's no bias involved there at all. Sly Spy Secret Agent is next, and for once, this is an arcade conversion in which the ST outdoes the Amiga, so looks wise there's not much between them. Gameplay wise too, even though the Atari is slightly more responsive, but for me this is a weird one, as the reason I like the Atari one is that the music feels better in it, even though the Amiga music is way better quality. It just doesn't fit the game, but it's hard to describe. With the game having no sounds, the Amiga music doesn't give it that sense of urgency that a platform game like this should have, while the ST tune does. Like I say, it's hard to describe so go and check it out for yourself, but for me the ST version is the one I play. And now last but certainly not least is Stunt Car Racer. Let me start by saying that the Amiga version is and always will be my favourite version of this game, but as with RVF Honda, differences were noticed when using Link Play and the ST version is way faster and smoother than the Amiga, but, and it's a big but, the viewing window is smaller, and although technically yes, the ST version wins for gameplay, that doesn't change my view that the Amiga version is the one I play, sometimes being better doesn't make it the best, and yeah, that is a truly Amiga fanboy thing to say, let's call this one a draw. Ok that's it for this video, I hope I haven't alienated any Amiga fans here, as really these are 10 games out of thousands where the Amiga was better, but every now and again we have to admit defeat and give one to the ST guys. Please let me know in the comments below if you can think of any games that were better on the ST, and if you haven't already please like this video and subscribe to my channel for more great retro content, oh and if you're feeling generous like these quality folks going up the screen right now, get on over to my Patreon channel, where you can get your name in the end credits, video requests and more in the future. Till next time this is OSG, signing out.